guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, I feel like I'm downhill. What's going on? That's weird. So, fall is in the air. Could only mean one thing, firewood season. Now, I don't stop cutting firewood during the summer. I do slow down a little bit. I don't stop cutting firewood. I pretty much cut firewood all year. We do need to get our chainsaws prepped for firewood season because I kind of, on my last project here on the property, I kind of rode these things hard and put them away wet, literally. What I need to do is service all these saws, clean them all up, sharpen the blades. Clean them all up, sharpen the blades, and just get them ready for firewood season. That way when it's time to go cut some wood, um, my chainsaws are ready to go. I've decided on my two primary saws, there's going to be the 461 and the Halsformer 466, which is a steel 460. I've had the opportunity to play with a lot of chainsaws over the last few years, and I always come back to these two saws. They are my favorite. Now, I've cut a majority of my firewood this year with this 466 Halsformer. So what I want to do is uh, continue that, but I want to I want to run this 460 some more. I do I do like this 460. It was the first professional chainsaw I ever bought. So those will be my two primary chainsaws for this season. The 500i is a fantastic saw. I'm going to clean it up, uh, sharpen the blade, and have it ready to go. I probably will use this if I get into some bigger wood, but I'm not going to use it as my primary cha uh, firewood chainsaw. Other than that, the rest of these will just be spares or if I want to play with them or run them. Yeah, and I mean, we'll use them if we need them for big wood. I am gonna make sure my uh, G111 is ready to go. That's that top handle 200T, steel 200T knockoff. But I wanna make sure it's sharp, ready to go. And then we'll also have the Neotech 372 uh sharp and ready to to go as well is that no that's a neotech it's not a 372 what's it 872 neotech 872 which is i actually really like this neotech saw it's a really good size chainsaw so we we'll have that ready to go for like smaller jobs or trail work or whatever but uh primarily we're gonna have the two 460s um as my firewood chainsaws so let's shut up and get to work. I mean, there's not much to this, but maybe you guys will enjoy seeing some of this work. I don't know. All right, so all I, what I like to do is give, uh, blow these things off really good, then wipe them down. Check the air cleaner. now it's raining so that's cool i'm not really trying to make these things look new but i am cleaning them up getting all the heavy stuff off i like to keep thing keep them maintained i think i'll keep i'll sharpen this chain so i'm gonna get this i'm getting this um i'm gonna run this bar on that hulse former so let me go out here and blow out the cover and we'll come back in and continue on Give everything a quick wipe down with these uh, tumble towels. I love these things. I use these for everything. Chain catch off here. I don't need it. I have the one in the dogs. Just something else for dirt to get clogged on. While we're at it, we'll just check these bolts. I don't want to forget our bar. Get it cleaned up. So 
I'm switching this over to the 25 inch steel bar. What did I have on this? Oh, I had the 25 inch holse former barn. Bar, barn. I had the 24, anyway, you guys can't even see me. Okay, what I should say is the saw came with the 25 inch holse former bar. I'm gonna switch it over to the steel bar. I don't particularly care for that bar. It seems to be wearing rapidly. Now I would like to have another lightweight steel bar, which I did, I did pick up a brand new 25 inch lightweight steel bar that we're gonna put on the 461. I wish I had another one. Uh, the store only had one in stock, but Paul Bunyan's coming up. Uh, I don't. Hopefully, some of you guys are going to make it to Paul Bunyan show here in Ohio. Uh, it's a really good show. They do. It's it's a logging firewood industrial show. I mean, anything chainsaw, wood splitters, log processing, logging, all that stuff will be there at the show, including timber sports. So I'm hoping maybe I could pick up a lightweight bar there. Uh, I would like to have another Sumari, Sumari, Sumari lightweight bar. I can never find one. Here in Ohio, every dealer, nobody carries any any lightweight bars. And if they do, they're, they're 20 inches or below. I happened to get lucky on that steel and found that at the Ace Hardware. <laughs> of all places. So anyways, I'll be at the Paul Bunyan show. It's October 7th and 8th. And... Hopefully while I'm there, I'll pick up a, another lightweight bar. But until then, I, I'm just going to run the steel 25 inch on this saw. That's that. Also a quick note on the Holzformer chain. Um, this is a steel chain. It cut good. It's, it is good, good cutting chain and it did hold its edge for quite a bit of time. No issues there. I wouldn't say it was any better or worse than any other chain I've run. Where I ran into a problem was it filed like it was real soft. Like I ate the chain up quick filing. I only filed it once or twice and it's, it is pretty much done. So I don't know what's going on there. I guess, it, I guess you would say you don't get as much life out of it as you would a, like a steel chain. Like I can, I can sharpen on these steel chains forever. Seems like, and some of them I, I have. <laughs> I'm gonna switch this back to the steel chain with the steel bar, and then on my new on my 461, I'll put the lightweight bar with brand new out of the box steel chain. Bought a couple new chains. What is going on here? Put this cover back on. This thing looks good. Pretty soon it'll be sharp and ready to rock and roll. Six, seven to go. I should probably pull the 880 down too. Um, maybe we'll do that later. Anyways, I'm going to continue on with this project here and uh, we'll check back in when we get to sharpening, I guess. But uh, for now, I'm just going to continue on cleaning up chainsaws. I am going to take my Wi-Fi off because I do have, I do have the ProSizer, the laser wood measuring device. I wish I had two of them. I guess I could go buy another one. Do you guys know what this is? Have you guys seen this? This is the, uh, the new Firewood ProSizer. And it's just a, it's really neat. It's just a laser that hooks onto the bar of your chain or your chainsaw. And you set it um, to whatever length you set the, it shoots out a laser dot. Let me back up. It shoots out a laser dot. You set this to the length of firewood you want. And then when you're cutting firewood, you put the tip of your bar on the wood and look for the laser. And that will be your piece of firewood. Like for me, I had 16 inches. 
So it's a super handy tool. Um, it's like 70 bucks, I think. Like I said, I wish I had two. At least. Because it, it makes it makes buck and firewood really nice. Get some nice even pieces. And uh, it's very quick. It's all about speed when you're cutting firewood, right? So anyways, firewood pro size. Maybe I'll do a video on this someday. Oh man, nothing, nothing more satisfying than a brand new steel lightweight bar and a brand new yellow box chain. Woo wee. that's my three primary chainsaws all all cleaned up ready to go um i do have to sharpen two of the blades so uh I'm, what i'm gonna go ahead and do is finish cleaning up the rest of these and then uh i'll sharpen the blades later but i think i'm gonna wrap this video up because it's gonna be stupid long but you guys get the idea blow them off wipe them down check over everything blow out your air filters and uh fuel them up with some fresh gas of course, mine always have fresh gas in them because, like I said, I, I run these things all year long. I try to cut firewood any opportunity I have a chance, which is not enough. <laughs> I, I want to cut more firewood. That's that's what I'd rather do. So, But those are my three primary chainsaws for this fall's firewood. Um, I like to run two at a time. Uh, that Run a tank, set the saw down, run another tank. And on a different saw, you know, swap the saws. You guys get on the same, rotate the saws. Uh, that way I'm not sharpening as much and it gives the, the saw a chance to cool down. So the two 460s will be my primary and then the, the 500i will be for bigger wood and to play with. So hopefully this wasn't too boring. Gives you guys an idea. Uh, guys, if you maintain your equipment, it will maintain you. The better you take care of it, the longer it will last. Also, by doing this maintenance, it gives you the opportunity to kind of give a close visual inspection of anything that might be going wrong with any one of your saws. Um, a lot of the issues you have with any equipment could be prevented if you did a little bit of preventative maintenance. That's why they call it preventative maintenance. Quick side note on the Hulse former chainsaws. I... I am thoroughly impressed with those chainsaws. They, they, they run 
just as good as the originals. Um, they are holding up just as good as the originals, and they're one third the price of the originals. So, a guy like me, just a homeowner doing firewood for his own, um, his own sake, even if I was selling a little bit of firewood on the side, I don't see where you can go wrong with just buying one of those Hulse former knockoff chainsaws. <laughs> I don't see where I would need the real deal. It's nice to have the real deal, but looking back on it now, had I known then what I know now, how many times have you heard that in your life? I probably would have just bought the Hulse former chainsaws because of price. And the, the fact is, is if my chainsaw were to die in the middle of cutting firewood, it is not the end of the world for me. I can... Um, if that's the only chainsaw I had, it's not going to ruin my life to stop that day, go get the parts I need to fix it and fix it. Now, I would probably buy two of the, whatever saw it was I decided to have, I would probably own two of them. That way you have a backup and you could always rotate the two saws. So just my quick thoughts on those Hulse former chainsaws, uh, I'm going to be running this 466 a lot more here coming up, so stay tuned for a video of that. That's it. We'll see you guys in the next video.